Hey guys, welcome to Cappy's Review Time! R for review, what? So, <laughs> tonight I just got back from seeing Captain America Civil War. What? 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 My brain exploded, okay? Like, that movie was- okay. Before I tell you whether or not I hated it, or I loved it, one or the other, um, let me just say, it was awesome, okay? Like, oh my dog, this movie nailed it! Because, because, first off, Spider-Man, I don't want to give any spoilers, because, I mean, like, you gotta watch it, you know? When you watch it, it just makes the experience so much better, and I hate spoilers, so this is not a spoiler review at all whatsoever. I'm just telling you that they nailed Spider-Man. He was perfect. They nailed Peter Parker too. I mean, you know, I'll always have that special place in my heart for Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker, okay? But he nailed it, okay? He nailed it. He was hilarious, which is what they need for Spider-Man. He needs to be funny. And, he, and the fact that he was a kid just makes it so much better, you know? He was... I don't know, 16, 17-ish, high school, you know, how he should be. You know, he's no, you know, Andrew Garfield who's like, you know, this, what's up, bruh? And then, you know, Tobey Maguire who's like freaking old. Tom Holland did an excellent job and I really enjoyed his performance. But aside from Spider-Man, they, well, no, bring him back. No, bring him back. I want to talk a little bit more. So Spider-Man got just enough screen time to fulfill my Spider-Man he needs because like I am full of Spider-Man like I love Spider-Man I wish I was Spider-Man some people ask me if you could be any superhero you want to be who would you be I'd say Spider-Man duh <laughs> anyways to the rest of the movie the acting was good awesome uh the story was good awesome um the effects was good awesome um little too much shaky cam if you get motion sickness stuff easy and um you know, I would take a barf bag just in case. <laughs> there was, it was awesome action and some of the moves that they did and some of the things were so cool that the shaky cam almost made you miss it. However, it's not like that throughout the whole movie. It's just in some of the really intense parts and you just gotta get into that, you know, Jason Bourne mode. You gotta look at the whole picture, not just one specific thing at a time. And sometimes I can like that in a movie, but in this movie, in some parts, I felt like it took away from the action more than it gave to it. But that's not all the action sequences. Most of the action sequences were done very well, and you could watch and see everything going on. It's just sometimes it would get real choppy with all the shaky cam, you know? It was all like, whoa! Ah! But hey, I mean, like, no movie will do shaky cam like the Jason Bourne movies, but... It did good. It, it did good anyways. Um, other than that, the movie was flipping long, guys, but it was totally worth it and they needed it to be long because they got everything they needed to get in there perfectly. I know a lot of people were thinking, oh my gosh, this movie's gonna be like Mortal Kombat Annihilation with all the characters, ah! No, they gave every character just enough screen time to make it perfect. They gave every character enough so that you could feel like they contributed to the movie in a substantial way. Uh, Ant-Man did awesome. Pa uh, Black Panther was- I almost said Pink Panther. <laughs> no, Black Panther was awesome. Um, he did such a good job and, you know, and like, he was- he was epic! You know? I mean, when- every time Black Panther gets on screen, you're just like, Whoa! You know? I mean, this is the way it was. And Spider-Man was the same way. You're just like, you're rooting for him all the way. Which is crazy because I was rooting for P Black Panther, I said it again, Pink Panther. And I was also rooting for Spider-Man when in reality, you know, they're both on Team Iron Man and I'm totally ke Team Cap all the way. So, I mean, I, just, I had a real conflicting problem there. Another thing, one last thing I want to throw out there is that the story was, was good, you know? And which is, which is awesome because like, I mean, the Avengers movie have very, you know, level stories and stuff like that. They're not really all that fulfilled out and all that stuff. But this one, it being basically Avengers 2.5, it had a very filled story and it was it was good and it made you root 
Even if you're going into the movie wanting to see, you know, rooting for Captain America or Iron Man, you go, after you finish the movie, you're like, wow, there were several times when I was rooting for both. You know, I was like rooting for Iron Man and I was rooting for Captain America. I couldn't really decide which one was really the good guys. I just, you know, it was crazy because, I mean, in all reality, they're all good guys. You know, it's good guys fighting good guys. It's crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this affected you to go, you know, in some way for you to go see the movie because you gotta see this movie. It was really good. The best Marvel movie yet, in my opinion. Comment below. Tell me your opinion. And, uh, it's gonna be awesome, guys. I can't wait to see you in the theaters. Thanks for watching. John, 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 John,